Hey there, it's Ben, the waterfall guy. So today I'm in the Lake Ola area of Cape Breton Island. And if you've ever driven this road before, you notice the place that has the go-karts. And right behind those go-karts is the Lake Ola, the second lake. And right behind that are the mountains called the Three Sisters. And today I'm going to bushwhack into the valleys behind uh, the lake and uh, basically that give rise to the three sisters. Hopefully some, some good falls in there. Wish me luck. This is the first fall I met in this valley and uh, I'm definitely going to go more upstream. This might be about 18 feet. Pretty nice uh, from the Cabot Trail to here, about 15 minutes. A uh, pretty easy bushwhack with an open forest in here. It's just gorgeous. So behind me is the largest fall I've seen so far in this valley off the Three Sisters Mountain. Uh, multi tier, 25 maybe up to 30 feet I'm gonna go have a look upstream maybe there's even more definitely gonna be trail peak worthy loving this another maybe 15 17 footer here just above that three-tiered one. Gorgeous area. So behind me is the topmost fall I found in this ravine. Um, I could see the geology changing where uh, just big boulders on the side of the valley and here in the stream is the same. So the geology has changed. We're not getting like true falls. We're just getting rapids. But the thing is, if you don't go upstream all the time, check out if there's something, you'll never know. So never stop exploring. Uh, this valley would definitely be maybe seven or eight comes up out of 10. Hey there, it's Ben, the waterfall guy. Uh, today I'm on top of the Three Sisters Mountain near Lake Ola and uh, I bushwhacked one ravine, came to the plateau and traversed it and now I'm going to plunge into the next ravine over. Um, I love walking in these woods. It's so open, so easy. Uh, bushwhacking scale would be like minus 5 out of 10. Uh, wish me luck. Hopefully there's some falls down there. So behind me is the first falls I've seen in this valley, but I'm working my, my way from the top to the bottom. Uh, this would be pretty much the topmost fall you're gonna get to. Uh, afterward, it really becomes more like rapids and the valley really closes and it's harder to walk. Not really any falls to see. I'm hoping there's more falls downstream toward the Cabot Trail. Yeah, so just 100 feet ago, I was at the base of the first fall I saw, and now this will be the main gorge, I'm sure. Lots of falls. They're not super tall, but the total elevation loss here is more than 50 feet, but it's more like you get an 8-footer, 10-footer type thing. Um, looks good, though. Definitely 7 comes out out of 10.